Happy Friday, it's the weekend, almost. I'm literally so excited. I'm feeling like hungover, even though I haven't drank anything in six months, just because I was up so late. I went and saw the Barbie movie last night and I literally didn't get to bed till like 1.30. It was the only screening that was available. So we're having a slow start to the work from home day, but I have calls for the next two and a half hours. And then I'm done with calls for the day and then We'll just be, you know, like working on stuff throughout the afternoon. So that's the plan for Friday. We're going to get outside some. It's so nice. I love summer in Chicago. And it's going to be a great weekend. I'm going to the Ed Sheeran concert tomorrow. We're going to go to Chinatown. I'm just so excited to document this weekend and share it with all of you. If you're new, I'm Lucia. I'm 24. I live in Chicago, obviously. And I work 9 to 5 in advertising. So that's what we're finishing up today. I gotta hop onto this call, but I'll catch you guys after. I have like two minutes to my next call. I was realizing I did not put on enough concealer in that call. I just, I kind of looked like I had dark circles because I guess I kind of do. I need to fix that. Maybe it's just getting more sleep. I have no idea, but two minutes. So I'm gonna pour myself a lacrum latte. I literally still have my pajama pants on. I've been living in like chaotic summer energy, just like so out of my routine. And kind of in the best way, like I'm not mad about it because it kind of makes things fun. And then I feel like fall is when you get back into your routine. It's kind of like I'm having a little summer vacation. Latte. I love having these in stock, so I just know that I have a handy latte at home. I don't have to go out or I don't have to make something. All right. Cheers, you guys. Maybe this will make my dark circles go away. Probably not. Oh my god. I didn't realize I had dark circles. No, I think it's normal. It's normal. Okay. Wow, I feel like Barbie from the movie. She's like, oh no, I have cellulite. Like, it's not a big deal. Call number two out of three of the day. Oh, also, I don't think I told you guys, but Vicente is working from the office today. So that's why I'm at the desk and it's the best. No headphones. I mean, obviously I miss it. It's fun like working from home together and hanging out, but it's also nice to have my own space a little bit. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Okay guys. All of my calls for the day are over. It finally feels like Friday. And I have a free sweet green credit because last time I ordered from them, they forgot my dressing, which was a bummer, but then they gave me a whole free salad out of it. So I was like, okay, honestly, this was a blessing in disguise. So I'm gonna go pick up some sweet green. I'm gonna place the order and go walk and pick it up. It's like 92 degrees outside. It is so hot. So it's gonna be an interesting walk, but I'm excited to finally get walking because I haven't been outside yet today. I love free food. It's like my favorite thing. Let's go grab it. Oh, I'm back from my walk. It is insanely hot outside. And we picked up the sweet green. I double checked that they have the dressing this time. So we should be good. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love her so much. All right, I'm gonna eat this, take a little break, and turn on some Sex in the City. The heat really makes you so tired. I need to hydrate. I'm done with the work day. I put some clothes in the washer, so that's why it's a little bit loud. Because I'm not, I'm out of the office on Monday and Friday of next week. We're having a fun girl summer. So I was just staying a little bit later and finishing up some work. I'm also trying to upload this YouTube video. So we're kind of having like a very productive Friday situation going on. So that's what we're doing. I also ordered a burger from Stop Along because I really wanted to do Small Cheval because they have the best burger and fries in my opinion, but it's always so busy on Friday nights that they're not accepting orders. Even starting at like 7 p.m. It's like the earliest you can order is for tomorrow, which is kind of insane. Like they're just so popular. Of course, Fred might, oh. <laughs> My washer is so loud, my clothing washer. I also think it's about a thunderstorm, which honestly, I don't mind it thunderstorming at nighttime as long as the days are clear for us. I think it might be raining when I'm going out to get my burger. I made it back in one piece. The rain has not started yet. Two, this is kind of open. I'm sure it's fine. Stop along exuded grease. 
which you know is kind of gross, but that's okay. Oh, I should have asked for ketchup because I think we're out. Oh well, I cannot wait. This looks like a huge burger. Did I accidentally get the double one? Honestly, good. I feel like I want leftovers. This looks stunning. Oh my god, this looks so good. And the fries, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this while finishing getting my YouTube up and put on a show. Maybe I'll do Kardashians. I feel like I'll do Kardashians. It randomly logged us out of the Hulu account, so I think I'm gonna watch The Summer I Turned Pretty Season 2. I haven't started it yet, so I'm way behind, but I loved Season 1 so much. It was the cutest thing ever, and I heard this one's kind of sad, but I'm still so, so, so excited to watch it. Ah, yay. Let's put it on. Happy Saturday. I'm literally incapable of being on time to a yoga class, but let's go. All right, I just showered and changed into this exercise dress from Set Active. It's one of my favorites, I love the back. And Cynthia and I are gonna go on our weekly weekend coffee walk. I think we're gonna go to Mindy's and then go to Absinto and then walk the 606. So that's our Saturday morning lineup. It's not too hot today. I feel like yesterday it was so hot, but today it's 76. There were thunderstorms last night, which it was kind of hard to go to bed with, but my vinyasa flow class was in Kriyab. Like I just felt so amazing. Amazing. He's stretching out and I feel like throughout the work week I develop like so many aches and pains I feel like I'm 50 but like it's true and Vinyasa flow class just like gets me reset for the weekend It's so nice knowing that I don't have to like rush back and shower and get ready for the day I can ease on into things. I just love Saturdays so much. Oh no, I put this headband on upside down. <laughs> Putting on headbands is looking so hard, especially after you put on like your skin tint. Like I put on this Elta MD tinted sunscreen today. So I think I got already got makeup on this. Is that still upside down? No, I was like, I give up if it's still upside down. I'm getting absolutely starving. So hopefully, it wasn't his watching Formula One. So hopefully the race ends very soon. back from our morning outing. I got a latte with almond milk from Absento, of course. And I ended up getting a blueberry lemon gluten-free muffin from Mindy's. Delicioso. And I got a very exciting PR box in. The only thing is that it was kind of open when I got it. So I don't know if like anything was missing, but it's from Rode. I was literally freaking out when they DM'd me because I'm obsessed with Rode. They sent one of their peptide lip treatments and then they sent their milk glaze, their peptide glazing fluid and the barrier restore cream. And I really want to try all of these. So I'm excited. In my mind, Hailey Bieber like personally packaged this for me, which I know isn't true, but you know, we can believe what we want. Literally gets so freezing in the apartment. <laughs> so I put on a hoodie even though it's so hot outside I just heated up my leftovers from stop along from yesterday because it's only or no It's already like 2 30 and we're gonna have an early dinner So I'm like, okay, I just need a light lunch for now Maybe have like a go macro bar too because I think we're gonna leave around like 4 30 to get to Ed Sheeran So I honestly might start getting ready and just like have a slow get ready with me. Take my time. I feel like I'm always rushing to get ready throughout the week. So sometimes it's nice on the weekends to like, just take my time, put on a YouTube video and not be like scrambling. Yeah, I've also just been planning my week. I have like the most insanely busy week coming up this next week. I haven't had this busy of a week since like the first week of June when I had my birthday, store opening for rock and rags, ending my job, starting a new job. It was Taylor Swift concert, it was crazy. And this next week I have Ed Sheeran tonight. Tomorrow I'm leaving to go on a glamping brand trip. Tuesday I have an in-office day and then we're having a boat day after that. Wednesday is another in-office day and then I'm going to the Lollapalooza kickoff party. And then I have Lollapalooza Thursday night and then Friday morning I'm leaving really early to go to Seattle for the weekend for a wedding. And then I come back really early on Sunday and then I have Lollapalooza again at night time. 
it's gonna be fun like i'm excited but i'm i'm kind of gonna be going crazy <laughs> i think so i've just been like planning out my week like exactly what i'm doing that's what that's what's going on with me it's 3 51 i think we're gonna leave around 4 30 and i'm getting ready for the night this is the fit the top is rock and ride and the jeans are dynamite it's like hard to see them but <laughs> they're like my favorite jeans i haven't worn them in a minute oh yeah it's gonna be like 72 degrees tonight and i feel like i can get kind of chilly when the sun isn't out so i thought i would wear pants i feel like this should be good i don't want to have to bring a jacket because that'll just be annoying to carry but i'm so excited we're gonna get ready to the barbie soundtrack Ed Sheeran slash Chinatown slash Khalid slash Kato. Is that the name of the other opener that we're, we're not going to see? seeing the other opener. So What's the name of the other opener? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're, they're irrelevant to my day, but I wish them the best. Break a leg. <laughs> yeah, break a leg. I'm sending positive vibes through the universe. Okay, this is the outfit. The top is rock and rags. Actually, I already showed you guys the outfit, but I put on my jewelry and my chunky sneakers and I got my clear um, concert purse ready to go. So, oh, Vicente, you gotta show them your fit. Socks are Adidas, <laughs> no, the shorts are J. Crew, the shirt is Carhartt, and the hat is Dad Brand. Is that the actual name of the brand? It is. Crazy. Dad Brand. Nice. All right, we, Vicente found a fun gluten free spot in Chinatown, so that's where we're gonna go. I'm so excited! We made it back from the Ed Sheeran concert slash Chinatown slash the whole day. So tired. I ended up getting some Wendy's delivered that came about the time that we were getting here. A strawberry frosty and some fries. Oh, they didn't give me my honey mustard I asked for. It's annoying. But, oh my god. I'll start with Chinatown. The food was good. We went to Joy Yi, which is a chain. We've been there a bunch of times. The place we were gonna go to had like a 30, 40 minute wait and we just didn't have time to wait that long. So we ended up going to Joy Yi. It was very quick and easy. I got a watermelon freeze and it was so refreshing. And then we split some fried rice because we had late lunches and it was delicious as usual. And then we walked over to the Ed Sheeran concert, to Soldier Field. I'm gonna actually look at how many steps we got today because we walked a lot. 15,731. That's pretty good. My legs are definitely tired. But the concert was amazing. Khalid was the opener and he was just so good. I really liked his music freshman year of college. So it was just like bringing me back to that era of my life. And then obviously Ed Sheeran was amazing. He does everything live. He says he doesn't have any sort of backing track um, and he has this machine, I forget the name of it but it like helps him like repeat sounds uh, there's a very technical word for this but i can't remember what it's called but it's so cool and he just has the like such a good voice his energy was great he looked like he was having so much fun the view was incredible i've never been that close at a stadium concert before i was just in awe the whole time having so much fun oh also we were close to the area where they were like walking in to go to the stage and then leaving the stage and so we were waiting there to watch ed sheeran come out but i think he was like hidden in some sort of box thing when he came in because then the countdown happened and he was like on stage already so we were like scrambling to go to the stage because we thought we were going to see ed sheeran walk in but he didn't but 
then we got to see him walk out at the end, which was so cool. Because there's no backstage, it's like a 360 stage in the middle. So he said that they like broke the record for the attendance for an event at Soldier Field, which is kind of insane. But it's because there were no seats that were blocked off because there was no like side of the stadium being used for backstage. We have a bar class at 9.30, it's 12, 12 right now. Oh, another thing, it took forever to walk. It took us like an hour to walk to this place in South Loop to call an Uber. And then it took forever to get in the Uber. So the concert ended at 10.30 and we just got home. So it took like almost two hours to get home. <laughs> you know, that's just how it goes with big concerts at Soldier Field. <laughs> Good morning, it's Sunday. I am so tired. This place is kind of a mess. So we're gonna clean it up before I head over to my bar class. All right guys, I'm back from bar. Um, it was such a good class. It was really hard though. I'm gonna hop in the shower. And it was so funny because this morning when I was getting ready, I accidentally put, so I have like two different prescriptions for my contacts, one for my left eye and one for my right eye because my left eye sees worse than my right eye. And I accidentally put the prescription for my left eye also in my right eye. And I was like, this looks really strange. Like it was so, weird i like didn't know how to describe it and i was like no I, I put the right contacts in i was like gaslighting myself and then i realized no this is this is definitely not right so i had to last minute switch out my contacts i'm always barely making it to bar but you know that, that's okay so let's shower i have to leave like okay, really soon in like two hours to catch a shuttle to go on my camping trip which is going to be a whole nother vlog we have a lot of stuff to do before then i haven't started packing yeah but you know it's gonna be okay we got this <laughs> All right, I just finished uploading my YouTube video and now it's time to speed pack. Okay guys, I sped packed. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't show you guys more of what I was packing, but I will see you guys in my next vlog. I think I'm gonna review like my goals since it's kind of the middle of the year and just have a fun little solo glamping trip. I'm so excited and I'm about to leave and rush out the door. <laughs> I'm like so anxious. I'm never like this. I normally pack like so far in advance, but not this week. I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Bye.